up is Charlene Carvajal. She is with a very important partner in the Protect Our Healthcare Coalition called Foster Forward. And they are doing some amazing work. I'm using that word a lot, I'm sorry. But they're doing terrific work uh, with foster youth and foster families. So, Jo Harlan, there she is. Hello. Hello. Hi. Um, my name is Jo Harlan Carvajal. I currently work as a family support specialist at Foster Forward. I currently work as a family support specialist at Foster Forward. The family support program is a new program that provides universal supports to both foster parents and children in their homes. But I'm not here today to speak as a family support specialist. I'm here to speak today as a foster parent. Um, I'm here to talk with you about the importance of health insurance for not only adults in our country, but our children and youth who are in the system, and specifically in the DCYF system. As some of you may know, currently 30 million children on Medicaid are on Medicaid health care, which means that two in every five children rely on Medicaid and the Children's Health Insurance Program. These programs provide comprehensive coverage to children for their physical, dental, and behavioral health needs. Without this coverage, children in foster care will lose access to some of the very things that make them healthy, happy, and safe. It has been proven through the Adverse Childhood Experience Study that children who experience childhood abuse, neglect, and trauma can often lead to poor physical and mental health challenges in their adult life. Having health coverage for those children is essential for the development and their latest success in adulthood. So you're probably wondering why I'm saying all of this. Well, it's simple. In 2015, in April, my mom and dad made the decision to become foster parents. Together, all three of us attended the Tips and Maps training that's provided to all foster and kinship parents. Soon after our training, we received a phone call from the department to take in our first foster child. Together with the help of Foster Forward and DCYF, we created a network as foster parents, um, and we created a network of supports for this child in our care. Together, um, we did attend support groups at Foster Forward to better ourselves as foster parents, as well as doctor's appointments. Without Medicaid, the child in our care would have not been able to, he to seek behavioral health care, which she needs in order to reach those most important developmental milestones that, average, that an average child who is not in care is able to achieve. Most importantly, she would have not been able to access the proper medical attention which she needed due to her serious health complications. Now, my family and I are happily placed with two little girls, and without health care coverage, they would not be able to move forward. It is our duty as adults to advocate on behalf of those who cannot speak for themselves. Furthermore, it is the job of my family, other foster parents, biological parents, social workers, other human service and healthcare professionals to come together to ensure the safety and well-being of children in foster care who are the most vulnerable to change in the system. On behalf of Foster Forward and my family, we would like to thank all of you for your continued efforts to support these children and youth and for your presence here today. All right. Thank you.